First tonight, we're hearing from the family of the Providence preschool teacher who died New Year's Day after the car police say was driven by her fiance crashed in Lincoln. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. He took off on foot after the crash, but turned himself in to police this afternoon. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts spoke with the victim's siblings tonight. She has more on what they say the couple was doing before the accident and how they're remembering her tonight. Amanda. Nanda Elmarez Albazu had just gotten engaged and was celebrating New Year's Eve at Twin River with her fiance. When their car crashed, she died and he took off. Her family is still in shock, but hopes justice is served soon. I was in disbelief. I was angry. The siblings of Nan Leo Marez Albazu in disbelief of how the 34 year old's life came to an end. She loved everyone. I, if I sit here and tell you everything about her, I, I'll go on and on and on. So she was known to her loved ones as Nan and on New Year's Eve was celebrating with her fiance. She was at Twin Rivers um, with her fiance, Gregory Miller. On Cobble Hill Road in Lincoln around 2 a.m., police say Miller was behind the wheel of a Nissan Altima that left the roadway, went airborne, and hit two telephone poles before landing on its roof. Miller ran off, leaving his fiance, who was ejected from the car, lying in the roadway. If you love someone so much like that, and you get into an accident, and you just want to go ahead and flee, you are not a real man. You're a coward. The crash happened a mile from the casino. The family fears Miller had too much to drink. He was wanted by police for days until turning himself in Monday afternoon. Good thing he did. Nan was a preschool teacher at Bishop McVinney School in Providence for 10 years. One parent recalling her favorite memory. I was dropping my daughter off to school late and the kids were at the library and she came back over to pick up my daughter to take her to the library to um, go there and she put it on her back. Um, that's that's the like the beautiful person she was. For the Albazu family, this isn't the first time they've suffered a tragedy. Nan's brother was killed in a crash in 2015. It's the belief that she's not alone that's getting them through. And now we got three angels now. Before we had one, then we went to two, and now we got three. And that's how I try to, that's what gives me comfort. That she's my brother and my dad. Miller has been charged with leaving the scene of an accident death resulting, and he'll be arraigned Tuesday morning. Reporting in the control room, I'm Amanda Pitts, 12 News.